We're always looking at what we did last year, what wines we've, we've made. We're always trying to make better wine at all levels. So here's a guy quietly who's you know, really started at the bottom and worked his way up. Um, and uh, he has just come through with year after year of really uh, high, really lovely wines. He crafts his wines, exemplified by the extraordinary show record that uh, he's, he's racked up over the last few years. I think I'm just a very driven person. I think uh, in Langhorne Creek, you know, it's such a um, understated and underrated region with fantastic viticulture assets. It's a huge opportunity to make great wine uh, with all of the advantages of an old region that really doesn't have much of a, um, a presence in the Australian wine landscape. The focus is on other um, more well-known regions. So um, sometimes I think it's nice to be the underdog. And several of his wines have just gone from show to show to show, winning gold medals um, each time they come up. And that's not common in wine shows. It's just the nature of the beast of shows. Um, if you've got an absolutely outstanding wine, yes, it should get recognised each time. I take a very practical view that if it's easier, you're going to achieve a better outcome. So I try and keep our operations very simple, less is more, and just capture the fruit that's there. When some press started to uh, come out about his successes, um, he wasn't grandstanding. Um, uh, I think almost preferred to be in the winery looking after his wines. And I thought things are coming together pretty well here. We're starting to really hit our straps. Uh, but the award was, was definitely a surprise. I think our best is still yet to come.